Hey everybody, Solar coming to you guys with our first Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl or BDSP Wi-Fi battle. So, we're playing against Chris who is on a Discord that I'm on as well as he just messages me on Discord as is. We're going to be using our sand team that, you know, we've been trying to use for like the past, uh, you know, a little while. And yet I could not find a battle. Everybody on the Discord is finding battles, and yet every time I, uh, you know, look for one, eh, I can't find one. Or I do, and it's like a, a guy brings one shiny legendary, like a shiny Palkia, or a guy will bring, you know, like, a bunch of level 20s. It's like, why are you on the, the trade thing with, like, level 20s? Nobody's gonna trade for your Bidoofs, man. So he's got Infernape Rotom for Alligator, Empoleon, Zangoose, and Clefable. So Clefable's probably the biggest issue. That, that's for sure. Um, it has Unaware, so we gotta watch out for that. But, I don't know, I think I'm gonna lead off with Scorpion. Because, you know, he seems to probably do the best. Infernape's gonna counter a few of my Pokemon pretty hard. I do have Defog this time though, so we should be able to get rid of rocks. And the weird thing is, these battles just start off instantly. Oh, and he started off with Empoleon, not at all who I thought he'd start off with. But okay, we do have the knockoff, so we'll go for the knockoff to knock off whatever item he's packing. I really don't care what- oh! Something's losing its item, and it's gonna be Rotom. Hey, Rotom, you you wanna you wanna lose your item? <laughs> Sucks to suck, Rotom. Now we can get up a layer of toxic spikes to whittle his team down. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, Will o Wisp. Uh, kind of figured. I wonder if it has Pain Split. I know Rotom, the entire Rotom line gets Pain Split, so that could be annoying. Uh, we gotta go for one more to get up the actual Toxic, and then we should be good. Okay, in comes the Volt Switch. Yeah, I'm not specially defensive, by the way. This guy is max speed, max attack. To get as much off of, um, his... I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be Leftovers. I wonder if it's Toxic Boost. Is it Toxic Boost by chance? Oh, I am Leftovers. I don't have Black Sludge. I cannot find the stupid Black Sludge. Oh god, the animations. I always forget when you're, like, crippled like that, it takes forever. We're just gonna knock off whatever he has. We do outspeed. Toxic Orb. Oh, it's Facade, okay. Oh. Scorpion's down, but he did his job. He was crippled. Like, he literally couldn't do anything else. Now, do we have anything that outspeeds him? Ooh, maybe. Oh yeah, we have you. But does he have a flying- did he have a flying type? I don't remember. Right now I'm gonna spring out Diablo. Go Diablo! Alright, we got this, buddy. Let's go for the kill. Okay. Punch me in the face. Wow, I didn't even knock me down to 1 HP. Now let's break out! Also, I hate Shell Smash. It's really glitchy. If you look at, like, the shell, there's, like, little pixels of something blue underneath. I thought it was because I used Cloyster. But then when I used other Pokemon Shell Smash, it was like, oh, okay. Not at all. Oh, yeah, he's been toxic, so... God, why does it take so long to do that? Uh, we have Flamethrower, Earth Power, Ancient Power. We'll just go for Flamethrower. Hopefully we outspeed at plus two... We don't even outspeed a plus two! And that's what I get for making a max HP. 
Alright, that thing's dead, so all I need to go is for... I'll go into Iridia. Iridia can do it. Iridia will survive. Right? I know what I can do. He's gonna attack. Perfect, then uh, I'll just go for the slack off. Heal back up. And then he'll die. <laughs> and then, yay! Zangoose is down. <laughs> Good job, Iridia. I know I still need to breed a lot of like the main staple Pokemon. I have a Gliscor that I uh, that I can uh I need to EV train my Gliscor. Everything else about him's good. His IVs are fine. His nature's perfect. Oh, I'm specially defensive. I can, I can survive against this guy. So I'm gonna. Oh wait, it's gonna go for the water attack. So I'm just gonna go into you, obviously. Let's go. Really? Will-O-Wisp? You gotta be kidding me, man. That sucks. Wait, it didn't say I was hurt by the Sandstorm. It just, it just smacked me in the face. Well, we'll go for the Bullet Seed. Went for Thunderbolt. Okay, cool. Bullet Seed, go! Oh, we might be able to kill it. Fire in the hole. Yeah, we got him. Good job. You're a good little buddy. Wait, unless it now says that Pokemon are buffeted by the Sandstorm instead of each individual Pokemon. That's what it could say. Oh, Empoleon. We'll see what it's gonna go for. Ice Beam! Alrighty then. Now I'm being slowly whittled down by all of this pain and suffering. But we do have the Drain Punch, so if we outspeed, which we should, because... I don't get why this thing gets Drain Punched, by the way. I really don't. We had to let it die because, well, Maker Go was supposed to do more. I should have put speed into Maker Go. Like I, I don't, I don't get why I didn't. Okay, he has Inferni, Clefable, blah 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 blah. But he doesn't have anything that can fly anymore. Oh, time for you, Garchomp. Let's just go for the, the Earthquake. You are Scarfed, so you'll outspeed whatever decides to come in. One thing, I know I haven't mentioned this in the videos yet, but their blinking is really weird. It's like very, very, like, choppy. But it's not unaware, so it's, it's poison, so that's good. It is leftovers though, so it'll he fully heal up this poison turn. But after that it won't fully heal up the poison. Now, it's um It's fairy type, so I can just send out I'm gonna send out Penguissimo. Go little buddy. Here comes the moon blast. Ugh. Okay, I didn't get the special attack drop for once. Oh! Now here's what I'm gonna predict. I'm gonna predict him to switch. So we're gonna send out Sand Shark. Now we get to see what he. Ah, I knew it! <laughs> Hey, Penguin. How you doing, buddy? 
Now I know I can kill Clefable. Ah, oh, yeah, you have to die. <laughs> so I sell my Empoleon. And then he has Infernape. But Iridia can take care of that. Technically, Iridia can also take care of Clefable, too. But, yeah. Oh, it's Feraligator! Hey, Feraligator. This guy, on the other hand, is a little hard to switch into. Because he's just gonna... He's just gonna set up Dragon Dance. Right? He's gonna go for the Dragon Dance, so I'm gonna go for the Earthquake. He does carry Ice Punch. No, nope, he just went for Ice Punch. Okay, we're dead. Buddy, no. Huh. Who else speeds? I don't actually know who has higher base speed, but... I need Iridia. I already can deal with this. We have to go for the attack. We have to. It can flinch us. I am max HP. Yow! That hurt. But it should be gone. Goodbye, for alligator. Okay, right on. He goes into... Okay, he lost Empoleon. The only one I can think of is Infernape. Yeah. Who do I have left? I have... Yeah, my other buddy. So I gotta, I gotta risk the Earthquake. Hmm... Okay. Fun, fun, fun. So what we can do here? We don't outspeed this guy. That's the issue. And all I have is Penguissimo left. We're, we're dead. Penguissimo, no. Why Penguissimo? Poor Penguissimo lost. So, I've got a conclusion. Magargo sucks. Magargo just, just, no. Magargo is like the worst Shell Smash user known to man. Like, seriously. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys all next time for another exciting Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl Let's Play. Or, Let's Play. Wi-Fi Battle. Jeez. I'm rusty.